Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Coach Scubar of the Jealous and Jams, back here with week six of the Baseball Draft League Season 3. This week we are going against Coach McMeezy of the Patterson Charizards. They've got a team of Heatran, Fluttermane, Rotom Wash, Gliscor, Murkrow, Vaporeon, Kanto, Weezing, Azelf, Haxorus, and Victory Bell. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest, I'm recording this battle eight days after uh, the battle took place. I've just been traveling a little bit. So I really don't remember what happens much, but let's get into the battle here. So they're bringing Murkrow, Weezing, Rotom Wash, Fluttermane, Haxorus, and Heatran. Versus this week we've got Iron Boulder, Rillaboom, Mousape, Primarina, and Klefki. Um at this time coach McMeezy is three and one and we are five and oh yes because i believe he had a makeup match to do so he's only three and one but um yeah no full respect to coach McMeezy. i know he's a they're a great player and um yeah just getting into the battle here i'm kind of looking here and i'm like i'm terra fire on the mouse ape so that or on my uh, annihilate so that's how i'm able to deal with uh the flutter main which is the thing only the real thing threatening it but then that does leave me vulnerable to rotom wash hydro pumps and you know if there's like any other earthquakes or earth powers so you know game one i'm just i'm starting to think just we'll see what i want to lead with here and then uh i can clean up with both rillaboom and iron boulder in the back so here we go into game one good luck have fun to my opponent um and honestly yeah let's all remember let's all watch this together because i honestly don't remember how this battle goes so they lead off with fluttermane and wheezing versus my mouse ape well, mouse ape, the mouse fold, and annihilate. So the neutralizing gas comes out. This will, because of the update, will stop the uh, protosynthesis if it's booster energy, and it also turns off my friend guard. I'm not too worried about defying here, but anyways, yeah, I'm just worried. Um, like, I, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna go in with the mouse hold, the mouse ape strategy here, I've got a Terra. I was like versus a flutter main. I'm like I absolutely have to. So turn one Terra into the Terrifier, you know, the Terrifier is always good because now I can't be Will-O-Wisp as well, plus I resist the Fairy-type moves. They just go for a Protect first turn, and everything, smart move, scout out what we're going to do and everything. I get the beat up off. So Rage Fist is now boosted and everything. I, uh, I didn't minimize my attack on my mouse hole this week, and you can actually see the difference. It's doing like 8 damage a hit versus the usual like 2 to 3. Rage Fist goes off into the attack, tells me it's not choice and everything. And he goes for the different status move, not the will o but the Toxic, and not into my Annihilate, but into my mouse hole. Um, which is very interesting. You know, I thought the Terrifier was pretty obvious. And I mean, these things usually run will o -Wisp, so I was not expecting the Toxic, but I was... The Toxic into my Annihilate would have done a lot more damage, or been a lot more impactful, because that would have put a significant timer on it. Uh, no Fake Out this week, so I'm not running the Protect and everything, so you know, I can just afford to have more support moves with my uh, Mouse Hold here. And I'm like, alright, again, I'm like, this Weezing is not necessarily a threat. I'm like, as we all know, Fluttermane is the most used mon in a VGC. And I love it in regular VGC, but I have it in draft in another league, and I'll be honest, I'm not too crazy about it. But we'll see, we'll see. I just really need to get better with it. So they go for the Protect with the Weezing, that's fine. They go for the Dazzling Gleam, just not going to do any damage to either of my mods. I get the Thunder Wave off, which now, you know, if this thing lives another turn, it'll be a lot slower. Um, the Rage Cuts comes off. It's not Focus Ash, didn't tear a normal or anything, so that's a clean one hit KO, just the base, 250 base power rage, uh, rage Fist. And, um, yeah, I'm basically at the same amount of HP I started with, thanks to Leftovers after that Dazzling Gleam. But alright, we're starting game one off. 4-3, uh, we get up a Mon. But out here comes the Rotom Wash, and I'm just like, yeah, I 100% I, I know, as Terrifier. I cannot take a Hydro Pump. 
I was like, yeah, I was like, wait, no, I shouldn't go for the helping hand here. I should go for the follow me, exactly. That's the smarter move. And then I know the wheezing just protected. And so I can go into the wheezing because then Rillaboom, especially with the AV, takes care of Rotom Wash. And as long as I get rid of this neutralizing gas, then Grassy Clump Glide comes out. Hydro Pump comes out, it lands, they get a crit. Um, I'll be honest, I don't think the crit mattered. I'm not, Mousehold isn't that strong kind of deal. Plus it's a Hydro Pump. But this Weezing, I knew Weezing is bulky, but I didn't realize it was that bulky. So they get the Sludge Bomb off and they reveal it's a uh, Rocky Helmet. So a great move, a great item into my very physically heavy team here. As you can see, I've got all physical mods. So Rocky Helmet is a great item, very smart prop. And I just need to, yeah, I need to remove this wheezing so I can, uh, get my, so I can get my grassy terrain off, or my grassy surge off. So that's exactly what I want to go for here and everything. Just fake out into the, oh, but I double into the Rotom. That's very interesting. I should have, no, I should have definitely gone into the wheezing here with my Annihilate. Maybe I was predicting the Protect on the wheezing, but the, the protect on the Rotom was actually really smart, really well played. Because this gives him a free chance to Toxic or Will-O-Wisp, or even just Sludge Bomb. There you go, just Sludge Bomb away. But you, this reveals that I'm AV based on how well I took that. And yet, now I'm in a little bit of a pickle, because this Rotom is just going to absolutely threaten my Annihilate. But I need Annihilate to get rid of... Um, Well, I mean, I guess I could high horsepower. I guess I could high horsepower kind of deal, because it's because it's neutralizing gas, not levitate. But anyways, no, I just go for the re the I just go for the high the yeah. This is not a good play, actually. Wow, no, looking back, think about it. I should have protected. I should have protected annihilate here and gone for the uh, high horsepower into the wheezing. But luckily, my bad play gets. Not rewarded, I just get lucky because they missed the Hydro Pump onto my Annihilate. Which 100% would have knocked it out. I'm a Terra Fire and let's Hydro Pump. So 100% would have knocked that out. And now we get the neutralizing, we get the neutralizing gas worn off, so now my Grassy Surge is out. I guess maybe that's why I wanted, I wanted Annihilate to hit, yeah, I wanted, I wanted Annihilate to hit, um, the Weezing, so then that way the Grassy Surge turns on, because I knew my Annihilate outspeeds my Rillaboom, and uh, that way I get the, the boost on the wood hammer. Um, I mean, that just that hydro pump was really lucky. Yeah, that hydro pump miss was oh, really lucky for me, really unfortunate for uh, my opponent. I, I think that hydro pump miss severely mattered. And now comes the Haxers here. So he didn't bring the Murkrow and he didn't bring the Heatran, which is very interesting. I mean, you know, seeing my team, seeing, double, uh, seeing a fighting type and knowing that I probably have a fighting type move on my... Uh, Iron Boulder here. So, yeah. Um, I just I want to I want to get the fake out uh switch and everything. So I get the fake out reset and everything, and just kind of scout what this uh, Haxorus wants to do here. So I go for the protect. Interesting. No, I should have just probably fired away because that gives it gives it the chance to set up a dragon dance, which a dragon dance could actually be. As, I mean, I'm up three one, but a dragon dance Haxorus is always scary. In another league, I had uh, Fracture, and uh, even Fracture, because it was one of my low tier mods, and even respect to Fracture, I think it's base 115 attack. So out comes the Terra here, and it's Terra Bug, and I was like, well, that's it. Oh, first impression. Literally, I saw Terra Bug, I was like, why Terra? Oh, first impression. Yeah. So if any, I mean, I'm a fire type, but I mean, I guess the first impression. Well, I guess, yeah, exactly. See, this Protect does nothing here. I, sh I don't know why I protected. First impression comes out super effective into my Iron Boulder. Um, so hi, hi Iron Boulder, nice to see you. I totally was not predicting that here. I just wanted the the fake out reset, and it's just good to scout that it's Terra Bug here and everything like that. Cause yeah, that's gonna hurt. I just wanted my fake out reset. So bring back out Rillaboom. Haha. Uh -huh. Spoilers, I just go for the fake out. It should just be fake out Rage Fist, right? Just to clean up this game here. Yeah. Um, so spoilers, if anyone hasn't seen the Pokemon present for uh, the new game coming out in 2025, Legends ZA. 
I know Wolfie had mentioned uh, there's the chance that we get uh, Mega Incineroar. And I'd like to one-up that. Not only could we get Mega Incineroar, we could also get Mega Rillaboom. So if Megas ever so if Megas ever come back to VGC and everything, just think about the threats they will be. Mega Rillaboom and Mega Incineroar. Honestly, it'd be pretty hard and well they're gonna have to be really good to justify using them over their base. Because honestly, like they're like they shouldn't get new abilities just because their base ability is already broken with Grassy Surge and Intimidate, but um, yeah, just a little funny food for thought. Anyways, GG to uh, Coach McMeezy here for game one. Yeah, just the fake out. Rage Fist was able to clean up. And I'm just thinking how I want to adapt for game two. Excuse me. Uh... Obviously the same team. It's a Life Orb. Yeah, the other parts of the team is a Life Orb, Primarina. I pulled out all the stops this week because like this team is very scary. It's what? It's Hyper Voice, Moon Vast, Ice Beam on this Primarina. Yeah, it's yeah exactly. Hyper Voice, Moon Blast, uh, and then Protect. You know, just Life Orb, 252 Modest, just to hit like a truck, Terra Fairy. And then yeah, it's the Screens, Clef Key with Dazzling Gleam and Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave between. The two, uh, Mousehold and Klefki is definitely going to be my speed control for this week, and just re not reliable speed control, because, you know, Thunder Wave can always miss, but, you know, it's just better than nothing. So, what do I want to do here for game two? They didn't bring the Murkrow, and they didn't bring the Heatran, so I don't feel like, really feel like I need, uh, Primarina, especially into both the Weezing and the Road. Oh, I bring Primarina? I don't I don't do Mouse Ape. Oh, because I want to go for the Swords Dance this game and everything. Yeah, because I was like, alright, he's going to have an answer for... Um... I was like, if he leads Rotom Wash Flutter Main, I was like, that's a problem for Mouse Ape. Kind of deal. So I decided to lead Annihilate at home this one. A little bit of a risk, because I've seen... You just saw how much... Not just Annihilate done, has done this match, but has done the entire set, or my entire uh, season so far. So yeah, let's see. So I lead Mouse Ape Iron Boulder here for the Follow Me Sword Stance with then Rillaboom and Primarina in the back to clean up. All right, yeah. All right, that's, that works. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, because because Rotom Wash Fluttermane really threatens it. Um, I do, I, this then also gives me the option to Terra my Iron Boulder to uh, prevent getting Terra bug uh, first impression because what am I because I'm Terra fire as well in the iron boulder again so that just makes me weak to the hydro pump if it misses and everything and then if I have grassy terrain up I or yeah I don't need to worry about um, any earthquakes or earth powers because they're half damage so here we go in the game two they change up their lead they lead with Haxorus Rotom versus my mouse old my mouse old iron boulder. Again, Mold Breaker, Levitate, front, and now well, it's nice because now I've got the front guard up and because neutralizing gas isn't on the field, my Quark Drive activates with my uh, speed booster energy. Alright, and I was just like, yeah, I'm like, I know the first impression's coming out here because that's just that's what you do. If you have first impression, you go for it. So why do I tear on fire then? Because I'm, I'm focused Sash. Right? I'm focus Sash on this mouse hold. So I can so I'll be able to take two attacks, whether they go for the Willow Wisp or the Hydro Pump with the Rotom. Yeah, I'm focus Sash, so I can take two attacks here, but anyways, interesting. Okay, I just I reveal the Terra Fire on the Iron Boulder right away. Excuse me. They reveal their Terra onto the Haxer, so the Terra bug again, just going for that strong first impression. Now also makes you weak to my uh, mighty cleave though so that's it so you just get the follow me off yeah you know attack the family take them out here comes the first impression and I'm surprised yeah that actually doesn't take me down to my sash um, because I mean it was, it was super effective on the iron boulder but then this re I was like oh so I was like maybe it's like choice band or something but based on that damage it reveals it's definitely not choice band we didn't see the life orb 
and I think they just missed another hydro pump there, which is again just so unfortunate. This is why, like, when people always ask me, they're like, "Do you prefer accuracy or power when it comes to moves?" I'm like, "I always prefer accuracy because then at least it's consistent damage, and that's the name of the game with Pokémon is consistency, is minimizing your chances of RNG." So. This Rotom is definitely the bigger threat now that I've Terra Fired and everything. So since I've got a uh, Mouse Hold, I just go for the Helping Hand, Earthquake, and see ya. So I said I wasn't scared of Earthquake, but now it also reveals that this thing has Earthquake and I don't have the Grassy Surge up. Uh, Durex Ad surprisingly lives on 1 HP because, you know, you're just a, you're just the tank. You're just that bulky. Let's, let's go Mouse Hold. And they reveal their Booster Energy Flutter Mane. Um... I didn't see what, uh, I didn't see what, which one it was and everything, but even if they go for the Dazzling Gloom here, I'm terrified, so I'm not, that's not going to take out my Iron Boulder. Yeah, exactly, so, that, follow me was just to cover the bases, if they go for Shadow Ball and Moonblast and anything. Out comes the Mighty Cleave, and I see it's Focus Sash Taxorus, and I'm just like, uh-oh. And not only that, they get the Dragon Dance off. And the, well, this is what I was worried about game one. I was like, when I protected that Annihilate and he just first impressioned my Iron Boulder, I was just like, uh-oh. So, looking at who I want to send in here and everything, Rillaboom is the correct answer because it gives me the Fake Out Pressure. It sets up my Grassy Surge. So, I was going to say, yeah, go into Rillaboom here to, for the Fake Out Pressure and to get the Grassy Surge up because then that way with some grass I should be it did 20 damage I'm at 16 now so after one turn of grassy terrain heal I should be able to take another dazzling gleam so that's exactly what I go for here for the protect the protect just to uh, again get that HP up so I can take another dazzling gleam I don't have to follow me in case the flutter main wants to moon blast or shadow ball but uh, you know we'll cross that bridge when we get there and then the hexers is probably going to protect but while I've just still got my fake out here Absolutely, just you know, it's 1 HP, just take it out. Yeah, so here comes the Protect. So it's First Impression, Earthquake, Dragon Dance, Protect. No Dragon move, very interesting. But, um. Yeah, so the Fake Out comes out. What do you go for? The Dazzling Gleam, exactly, yeah. So that would have taken out my Iron Boulder. But I go get the Protect off, and now you see now with this one turn of Grassy Terrain. If it does, if it's the same roll and everything, I'll live on six HP this time. And did I fake out? Or I shouldn't know. I grassy glide the Haxer is here, because even though it's Bug type, like I'm in grassy terrain and everything, so they go for the protect. Um, just interesting move. I just I don't think they remember uh, the special bonus of Mighty Cleave. As in, it's a. The, that's the reason I picked it up my, as my first mod in this league, because I was just like, I didn't want. I wanted to use one of the new mods, and Urshifu is just absolutely broken. I was like, well, Iron Boulder has the same effect with his Mighty Cleave, and it's a new mod. So I go for the. I go for the. Uh, yeah, the Mighty Cleave again. Just uh, PSA for everyone. Mighty Cleave goes through Protect. Don't protect in front of my Iron Boulder unless you resist rock type moves. Because then that's just a clean, it allows me to get a clean one hit KO onto the um, Flutter Main. And just out comes this Weezing. Uh, but over right, right now, yeah, being just a high horsepower Mighty Cleave. Looking like a uh, GG's. Again, especially since, I mean, I have Prima Arena in the back, which Sludge Bomb hurts, but I can always just, you know. Hyper voice that so Mighty Cleave comes out, Rocky Helmet brings us down to HHP. Rock Balboa just he really is Rocky Balboa because he he's just always hanging on, always staying strong. The high horsepower cleans up the wheezing to take the set to zero. Jelson Jams versus the Patterson Charizard. So um GG's to Coach McMeezy. This, uh, yeah, this brings us up to five, six and zero, oh. six and zero, oh, because this was week six, right? Yeah, I was like, this brings us up to six and zero oh this week and everything. Um, yeah, no, that was a fun set. Absolutely, I had a lot of fun. You know, uh, you got a very scary team between the Heatran, the Fluttermane, Rotom Wash, uh, 
And then just, yeah, even Hacks are seeing proved to be a threat this week. So, it was a fun set. Yeah, I'm really sorry about the Hydro Pump misses. Though Both of those Hydro Pump misses were extremely unfortunate. Next week, we go up against a very scary opponent, Coach Oatmeal of the Toronto Swa Blue Jays, with a team of Ursaluna Blood Moon, Chian Pao, Ndidi Female, Torkoal, Hisuian Arcanine, Hatterain, Salamance, Hisuian Lilligant, Alolan Executor, and Bramblecast. So, we'll uh, catch y'all next week for that uh, hype battle. I'm actually looking forward to it. It'll be a fun one. And, um,. Yeah, Coach Scoobar, the Jealous and Jams, over and out.